Hello students, I am Dr. Tonmoy Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry, the Mystery of Molecules. So today we will discuss a MCQ about this molecule. Okay, so this is a phenolic derivative you may consider alkyl substituted phenol in presence of thallic anhydride and catalytic sulfuric acid with some amount of heat what major product is produced. So this is the today's question. In order to answer the question, four options are provided in front of you. So you have to find out what is the right answer. Okay. So as usual, I first request you, please pause the video and try. And whatever answer you get, you mention in the comment box. This is helpful for self-evaluation and definitely I shall provide my answer after some time with complete explanation. Okay. So I believe you have tried. So let me start. So. Today's lecture will cover few points like what is the first product, how this is obtained, uh, mechanism, even nature of the reagents such that it will help you to predict what will be the product and most importantly this product has a very excellent use. Okay, we will discuss about that thing also. So a lot of chemistry to be learned in this video, please watch with your full attention. Fine. So let's start. First of all, we, should, we need to know the nature of the reagent because it helps us to understand or predict what could be the possible reaction. So in this case, first look at this molecule, this thallic anhydride. It's an anhydride of thallic acid. Now a question, since it's an anhydride, what we can expect? We know that anhydrides are not that much active unless hydrolysis, but this is not so much prone to hydrolysis because it's an 1, 2 acid with benzene. Okay, fine. This planarity helps it to stable in the anhydride form. So it it doesn't undergo hydrolysis so easily. And along with that what is provided sulfuric acid and we know that sulfuric acid can act in both way. One is act as an acid and another is as a dehydrating agent. Okay. So what is sulfuric acid does? Actually sulfuric acid produces proton H plus plus bisulfate anion. Some of you may think that, sir, why you are saying bisulfate? Why you are not saying 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus? See, sulfuric acid is stronger, fine, but I am not using aqueous solution. I am using an organic medium. So it is expected that the first protonation will happen because it is highly easy, means it is a prone to remove the first proton, whereas removal of second proton is not that much easy. Okay. So, what happens? In this case, this proton is produced, react with this, uh, it can react with this anhydride. How? See, we know that A star, it's sorry, anhydride is nothing but a, you may consider intramolecular star type, okay, this one. So, the, it has a canonical form, means this oxygen can push its electron and this will, in, electron will go. So, what will be the canonical form? In this case, the canonical form will be, see, in this case the canonical first of all this bond will go there will one bond and this here will be positive charge here will be negative charge fine so what is the uh, conclusion of this discussion is that this carbonyl oxygen is delta negative and act better to say more electron rich so if it is more electron rich so we can expect the protonation will occur on this oxygen there are two similar so anyone can undergo protonation and by the way, a star means what we consider R, C, O, O, R. Okay. So they are not that much electron deficient because of this conjugation. But after protonation, it they became electron deficient species or you can consider this electrophile. So previously they were weak electrophile, but after protonation, they became stronger electrophile. Okay. So they can undergo, so they can undergo craft reactions. Fine. Now another thing. Another what type of property? Actually this new because of this carbonyl group, this carbonyl group means two carbonyls, this benzene nucleus is not very much activated towards AES, aromatic electrophilic substitution. So it means self condensation or self substitution will not occur. Okay, but here electrophile we have generated and additionally in the reaction medium there is an another molecule alkyl phenol and we know that phenols are electron rich and actually electron rich and activated. Okay, fine. 
and there, there is an another point you can say that sir there is a hydroxyl group so it can act as a weaker acid but what is the point when there is a stronger acid means sulfuric acid present in the reaction medium what is the use of this weak acid no so it will not occur now the most important question is who will dictate the position for aromatic electrophilic substitution means will phenol dictate or will this alkyl group this methyl or this will dictate actually phenol has phenol has stronger plus r effect so the oxygen will dictate where the substitution will occur now if we uh, think about oxygen there are two options possible this is the ortho vacant and this is the para so react where the reaction will occur see ortho site is associated with some steady factor because this methyl and phenol in between whereas if you see para in case of para there is one part one side methyl but other side is hydrogen means bulkness is relatively less so this side will be preferred for aromatic electrophilic substitution okay so now let's discuss the mechanism see in this case this is the protonated uh, thalic anhydride as we have discussed some time before but one interesting question may come we know that acid hydrolyzes the ester or anhydride in this case why not hydrolysis these you can favor what is the meaning of word hydrolysis the word means that breakage something using water okay and in the reaction no water is used so only protonation will occur but not hydrolysis so don't get confused whenever acid or base given it doesn't mean it will participate in hydrolysis for hydrolysis hydro means water's presence of water is essential fine so from the previous discussion we have understood that aromatic electrophilic substitution will occur in this position better to say the hydrogen here will be substituted why because the produced sigma complex is stabilized by the lone pair conjugation of oxygen and i have already discussed aromatic electrophilic substitution in details so i shall provide the links you may visit if you have any difficulty fine so what it will do so first of all these uh, you may consider that these will push electron it will go and finally it will come and attack here it will open up see it's previously it was charged so after opening up it is neutral so you may consider the stability is enhanced fine so after that what it will do so our first here substitution after that proton will be removed to gain the aromaticity okay so ultimately what will be product this is so this is nothing but mono substituted product okay now question will the reaction stop here obviously not why see this is a oh group and it has a lone pair and in medium there is a very strong acid that is sulfuric acid okay so what it will produce see another thing sulfuric acid is needed catalytically why in the previous step this proton is one first step this is a proton consumption but while gaining the aromaticity this proton is removed so proton is regenerated so catalytic amount of sulfuric acid is enough so we can consider that the strength of sulfuric acid is almost intact after the first step so what it can do it can protonate this oh into oh2 plus and when it became oh2 plus it it's prone to leave and why it leaves because after leaving it produces this carbocation okay and this carbocation is resonance stabilized because of few points points are first of all this is a benzylic okay so this carbocation is benzylic point number 1 point number 2 you may consider it's like an oxonium oxonium cation what do i mean see this position is closer to this oxygen so what it can part do this oxygen can participate in a resonance means in this way it can stabilize let me draw this canonical form so this is this is the oxygen and oxygen can participate in positive charge will come oxygen now question why oxygen will give its lone pair simple thing it is true that oxygen being electronegative atom uh, is not interested to give its lone pair to anyone but in this case this carbon center was six electron species sextet 
but this is actually now everyone is eight electron species so octet its field so that is the reason such kind of canonical form exist and additionally as i told this benzylic even not only benzylic see this position is para to hydroxyl so this positive charge at this carbon could be stabilized by the contribution of this hydroxyl group also what do i mean just a very simple structure this is a carbocation this is a oh so you may consider that this can come here this will come here and oxygen lone pair will come here so ultimately what will be that canonical form which is very important in this case this that is actually this is the double bond oh and oxygen will have the formal positive charge on it this and this so you may consider that okay so this fine so in this way stable so previously it was a two substitution this so in this way the canon uh, this carbocation you may consider relatively high stabilized okay so always i say carbocation are reactive intermediate so don't say confidently that they are very stable no they are obviously not very stable but when we are discussing any chemical reaction we should compare and that's why we should say relatively stable carbocation and due to the fact that is benzylic oxonium cation and third point is phenolic oh participation okay so these are the three factors responsible so now what you have understood this carbocation is produced is stabilized and another thing we know actually this carbocation is a six electron species and this six electron species can undergo friedel craft alkylation or friedel craft reaction so further next friedel craft reaction is possible okay so similarly like this phenol in this case how this reaction will occur it will attack here and finally after uh, after that it will produce this di substituted product so this is the product okay so question if we ask that why the second aes occurred on the same carbon not the other because the carbocation is concentrated here and that is the reason for the substitution okay and another thing see in this canonical form just look at the stabilization of this uh, carbocation intermediate the oxygen is involved to delocalize its lone pair to this carbon center little bit so availability here low so protonation tendency of this carbonyl oxygen is also low so reaction chances very very less okay okay so this is the uh, process reaction procedure so what is our product our product is this one now uh, interesting topic interesting point that this molecule belongs to a category named as thalazine di i shall explain after some time this is a di molecule and act not only di it is a red sorry acid base indicator okay so if this molecule has this two property so we should learn little bit and by the way what if i ask what is the name reaction involved for the preparation of this molecule from this uh, phenol derivative and thalic anhydride definitely friedel craft friedel craft reaction and another mechanism is aromatic electrophilic substitution okay so this is the discussion now let's discuss about the importance of this molecule this molecule as i told can act as a act as act as a ph indicator so ph indicator means during the titration slight jump of ph will be detected by this and actually this belongs to phalazine uh, uh, sorry thalanlin uh, di group and its name is thymothalanin okay so its actually transition range is 9.3 to 10.5 what do i mean so below 9.3 ph it is colorless but if you go higher above 10.5 it is blue in color so if i ask what type of base titration with what type of base is good for this actually you can say titration with stronger base means you are adding the base on from the uh, burette so after neutralization slightly jump of ph and what kind of is like NaOH, KOH are 
example of those kind of bases okay fine and another interesting point is that so below pH 0 it's red now we will discuss little bit what will be the reason see below pH 0 it's red means it's a very strong acidic condition below pH 0 is very strong acidic so we can expect that this carbonyl oxygen means actually this carbonyl oxygen will be protonated okay fine so this is a red color and better to say it's a conjugation less whereas the blue color conjugation is sorry i make mistake means red means conjugation is more blue means conjugation less higher frequency now what is actually happening in this case so when you add base base means this stronger base like NaOH or KOH what it does this abstract this proton and what makes it it converts into the corresponding anion means phenoxide derivative and this phenoxide undergo some chemical transformation to produce some redox actually actually you may consider this is a base mediated redox state change how see this can push here so this bond will come here consequently this bond come here and it will come it will open up and this is the negative charge of oxygen is resonance stabilized because of the carbonyl group means this part so consequently what it will produce it will produce this this is the anion and this is and this is nothing but a quinonoid derivative because this structure this parabenzoquinone you know is like this so this is a quinonoid structure okay that's why it changes color and similar thing you can observe in case of phenylethylene so i suggest you please read the preparation of phenylethylene along with this video because it will complete your study about this such kind of two indicators and they both are good for such kind same kind of titration okay and another thing which part of molecule is responsible for coloration after the use of base this part and not only that see actually this molecule has two similar group these and this so anywhere possible i have shown here doesn't mean the reaction will occur here this side have a equal probability of the reaction okay so this so this is the understanding about its uh, property as a ph indicator okay so now in conclusion what we have learned today we have learned today that aromatic electrophilic substitution may result a dye preparation possible second protonation on a star increases its electron deficiency and makes is a better electrophile okay and most importantly ph indicators like this one means what you have discussed or phenylethylene can undergo reversible redox transformation this is a very important thing what do i mean this transformation using base if you withdraw base sorry this is using base if you withdraw base or put acid it will again go to its previous state so that is a reversible transformation so this is a very important that reversible base or acid mediated reversible redox transformation okay and the final understanding of today's discussion is electron rich aromatic nucleus may undergo aromatic electrolytic substitution in uh, sorry in absence of not normal acid lewis acid why because we know that for aromatic electrolyte substitution it is generally essential that lewis acid is needed because that will consume will deal with the corresponding anion and the carbocation will be free and more reactive but when you have a more electron rich nucleus and such kind of system you are actually generating the electrophile in the reaction medium by protonation okay so after protonation this became positive so in react in electrophile is generated where lewis acid is also not needed externally okay so this is the end of this discussion i believe this lecture may be useful for you if it is please like the video if you have enjoyed and uh, write your opinion in the comment box and most importantly if you think this video is good enough then share with your friend such that they can also enjoy the benefit and if you think my channel and its contents are worthy then subscribe this channel and press the bell icon such that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified so all the best stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video